Hello, I'm back. <laughs> like I told you, I was going to update this every week. So, um, last week was great. I basically really focused on my workouts. I ended up getting a new gym buddy, James. <laughs> and I really focused this last week on working out, just staying focused on what I needed to stay focused on, and just moving forward in life in general. Um, yeah, it was actually a pretty good week. Literally, I worked out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I'm starting to take Saturdays and Sundays off from the gym, so that way my body can rest, and, but the thing with that is, what I'm learning is, even though I'm off from the gym on Saturdays and Sundays, I still need to make sure that I'm maintaining my diet. Um, Sunday, I um, <laughs> had a lot of spicy food, and today, uh, this week, I'm starting to do fasted workouts, so I don't eat before I work out, so I like run, do all that stuff, and then my meal after and my shake after I work out. <laughs> no more spicy food. <laughs> I, I just, yeah, no more spicy food. I just feel like my body's starting to take a toll on, like, spicy food. Like, and God knows I love sriracha sauce, but, yeah, I'm going to cut back because my stomach is like, I'm mad at you for eating this. Yesterday I had some like spicy coleslaw, I had salsa, I had this spicy shrimp thing from Diego's in Hell's Kitchen, and yeah, my stomach is like, I'm mad at you, and you think you're going to go here and run three miles and then lift weights? <laughs> oh, I'm going to mess your stomach up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be laying off spicy foods for a while. Last week I focused on like cutting back my dairy, uh, because I felt like dairy was messing with my stomach just a little bit, so I like switched to like a lactate milk. Um, cut back on cheese, cut back on just like those products to see what could be going on. And actually, I feel a lot better. Like I actually feel a lot better because I've cut back on my dairy. So that, yeah, spicy food and dairy, right for me right now, no, 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 no. Uh, one good thing I want to talk about last week is like, last week um, I was talking to one of my managers and he was really just, you paid, I guess he's been paying attention to like me losing weight and everything like that. And he was really like, you know, when you first started working here, I just thought that you just had that barrel belly. Like, I just thought you had that. Like, like, you couldn't get rid of it. Like, now it's like, you're small. I was like, yeah, because I did what you told me to do. I started drinking a whole lot of water. I cut back my drinking completely. Like, honestly, two drinks, that's my minimum. There are days that, like, if I'm out with friends, I might have, like, a couple of drinks. But I don't try to get wasted. I hate I hate being wasted. I like that's my pet peeve. If anyone else wants to know, my one of my pet peeves is being wasted or having friends who are completely wasted. I I just have no sense. I just have no tolerance for it. I I've had exes that I've dated, and I just have never tolerated just getting yourself completely sloshed. I just no. <laughs> and I guess it's because I'm getting older and just like I don't have time for that. Like if you need to be young and wasted, go be young and wasted. Not doing it with me. So yeah, that's yeah. Them days of being wasted and falling asleep on on trains and yeah that stuff has been over for a couple of months <laughs> so and I've kept my like you know like I said I really usually stick to wines I like I love wine I love red wine so um like yeah so like cutting back that you know watching what I eat has been really good for me paying attention to my diet you know watching what I eat that stuff has really been good for me it's also been good for my skin like that's crazy to think about, but it's been really good for my skin, and it's been good for my, my mental health, like, this week I really did some thinking, and I was just like, you know, this, there, I had this situation, and I was really just thinking, you know what, if this is the foundation that that's going to happen, then I'm going to move forward, like, I, I got to move forward, like, there's just some things in life you have to be like, that's where you're at, this is where I'm at, I'm going to have to move forward, because, like, I don't have time, I'm getting too old, there's just some things in life you just have to look at, and you're like, you know what? why should I sit up here and do, you know what, Tyree, get, get up, go do, go do, keep on your path, just keep on your path, and like, it really helped me yesterday, because one of my friends was like, you know, you really are a good person, and there are days, there are times that I might, I doubt that I, if I'm a good person, if I'm doing the right thing, I, I don't know if anyone's ever felt like that, maybe you felt like that before, but there are days when I feel like, well, maybe that wasn't the right thing to do, maybe I'm not a good person, because I did this and did that, but I learned like, once you forgive yourself, you can't worry about what others think because you got to get forgive yourself and then move on. Like, we're not meant to walk through this life to be perfect. Like, 
that and I think for me that's been a struggle because I used to always want to be perfect. I used to want to be like I had to do everything right. I had to do everything right. I had to be I had to be in everything. I had to be a part of everything. I had to know everything. And now it just feels like, you know, I don't have to do all that work. That's too much work. Too much work trying to be perfect. Let me have some flaws. Like, like let me be flawed. For the first time in my life, Tyree, be flawed. You need these flaws so you can grow. So I was like, you know what? I'm I'm done. I'm done trying to be so many things for so many people. Like now you need to, I need to focus on like getting to me where I want to be. So, you know, that's, you know, that's, I think that's just the growing thing. It's a growing thing for me. I feel like we're always growing as a person and I'm always growing as a person. Um, but this week I got a lot going on. I have work, I have training sessions, I have work, <laughs> I have auditions and, um, so much other, I have a lot. So my plate is full, but like, I'm really striving to make do this every week and keep this up every week so I can like, like I said, this is for me, not really for anybody else. I feel like this is more better for me to talk and instead of writing because I'm not, yeah, this, this, is, this works. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is it until next week. We'll see what this week holds. I'm thinking good things happening this week, some good things happened last week, things I'm really happy about, things I'm really like excited about that's going to happen in the future and so that's it. Much love to everybody. Have a successful week. Have a great week. Get positivity. Always be positive. You know what? Don't talk shit about people because it ain't worth it. And if you can't say nothing nice, don't say nothing at all.